Yo, what's going on guys? Jared here. I am once again joined by Nick and Vince for another ban list discussion video. This is where we're going to be talking about the implications of the new ban list, stuff like YCS Raleigh, our thoughts about the cards that are on the ban list, and so much more. So once again, I welcome Nick and Vince again. Thank you guys for being here. Happy to be here. Right. Happy to be here as well. Because we all love talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! so much that we just keep on doing it every time <laughs> it changes. Um... So I think we can just go ahead and jump right into this fire format ban list. Uh, starting off with the forbidden cards, we are going to start with Link Karibo. How are we? Uh, how's Link Karibo? <laughs> I, I I I said that this card was going to get banned at some point. I was like, either going to put Ash to one and ban Link Karibo, and I was like, fine for the fire decks. But they just ban Link Karibo, so sure, <laughs> that works too. Uh, I, I'm like, whatever on it. Like, what what does it stop that? Anima can't do like it stops like the little revive trick and stuff, and it stops um, like, soul lines. I there's cute stuff with but... princess that it stops. Um, it's princess. Extra, uh, you the... also get like the free Sorry. body waiter, I think, in the fire king combo you can do with like wolf to play around nib, nib a little bit. Um, it's like a bunch of little minor things that add up mid mid game tribute off. You can also play around like Valor or Imperm with uh, by like yeah, sending yeah. Link Karibo with. With original, mm -hmm. that's another one you can do, which is pretty annoying. Uh, protect Chapalooza from being ran over. Yeah, that's, that's another thing. <laughs> yeah, again, it's if it's it's not like one thing, right? I think this Link Rebo band's like it's a bunch of little stuff that just has accumulated of interaction wise in the fire decks that they figured out. Yeah, it is the much better Link One option, um, and now they just have like the stiff one. So, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, it makes going into dark, the dark charmer, like, harder. Oh, that's like, true. You, yeah, that's very true. So, yeah. like, you can't just have a free dark whenever you need it. Yeah, like, late game. You can't just, like, rip that out. And, mm -hmm. like, like, once you go through your... Like, I'm assuming you switch to Anima if they play it. You're turning me around on this, actually. So... Uh, <laughs> that's what I mean, right? It's, <laughs> like, it's a bunch of small like, it stuff, a lot. Right? It like, a lot. I, know, I feel like we just listed, like, a dozen things. So, it actually does do... <laughs> When you start listing them out, you're like, man, this card really was. It just did a lot of small stuff in uh, in this. You know what I just realized, actually, looking at Link Kribo's blown up artwork? That there's actually a Link Arrow in the artwork of it on the right side of it. I never yep. knew that. <laughs> it just blew my mind, but whatever. So I think this was an okay hit. Um, going over the other fire, I'm going to call these fire hits because that's kind of what they are, is Baron to Floor and Savage Dragon. I'm going to put these together because I think they deserve to be together. There's not really a reason to separate them. I, I feel yeah. like that's more of a broader hit. Yes, it does hit, hit the the pure fire uh, snake eye deck because it did put out these omni negates, but like other decks were put well barren more so than savage. Uh, other decks were just like kind of just like putting barren in because every deck has like tuners or level sevens or a hand traps yeah. or level seven. So like cash was also making barren for no for like. Just for funsies, uh, it 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 did a lot with like how you can play through a board, um, how I interact with a board because you always had a fear. Oh, here comes the Omni Negate coming down to stop. Well, yeah. like my hand, like what I can do to stop them from continuing their their combo. Mm -hmm. um, but now since they're both gone, it it makes it everything it makes everything. Uh, weaker to uh like nibiru or yes that's the big or one. nibiru is the big one uh it, it 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 makes everything weaker to like just like hand traps in general i think, <clears throat> but, I think that's right yeah i'm i'm a fan of these hits specifically the baron one mostly um i think my, my biggest thing with it is like i don't like i don't like saying this because i was like I, I don't know if you played any combo deck that was doing anything i feel like you did this which was like, okay, here's the combo, your end goal is this, and the first thing you're going to do is make a Baron to play around Nibiru. And then that's going to insulate everything else, every other BS line you're about to do, because you have a Baron sitting there. And you're not going to get punished at all because you made this Baron first. And it's like, that kind of gets repetitive after like the 8th combo deck doing that, right? And you're just like, okay, this is kind of stupid now. <laughs> yeah, they, they all do some variation of that, right? Yeah, and there's no brick for it, too. I think that's another big thing. Like, you're not playing, like, a brick. Like, we could still do, like, the, like, let's say, like, our super heavy line, right? Like, we could still do that. But at least we have to play Regulus, right? We could play Regulus yeah. in the top. He kind of sucks. Yeah. Draw a lot of times. 
it still eats an extra dex a lot with the gravity controller if you didn't start with bike. So it's like, you know, it's not fun at the same time for this card's existence, but just, it was just oversaturated. It was like an oversaturated card, I feel. <laughs> I, think it, I think it's fun um, for it to go. It's like, yeah, everything was was climbing into it, like Vince was saying. Mm-hmm. Like, everything can make it. Super Heavy makes it. Yeah, like uh, Vanquish Soul, Kashtira. This, this like, makes like it, I don't know. I think these, these hits are so much more impactful than at first glance. Not even just those reasons. Like, now... Things like talents, right? Like that's like what I jumped to against fire. Oh yeah, like those oh, those cards are crazy. broken now, right? Like you go against fire deck, like even the fire king deck, right? You're like, oh, they make like Appaloosa, of, like princess, all this stuff, and you're like, oh, you do one thing, talents, give me that freaking that Appaloosa, and we're just going, we're, we're gaming, um, snatch deal, change of heart, like all those things now, like you just like, oh, give me that, like give me that Appa, like I'm just gonna play through this now. And I think all of those are like really relevant now that you don't, you don't have like those really strong Omni negates, even like evenly matched, you know, something else like these cards were kind of insulators of those strong going second cards. They are just gone. Um, yeah. And the, the board, the boards that people can build are just not there now. Like if you can't make those two, I was saying um, earlier about this with dragon, like like dragon, like just keeps getting like hit, <laughs> you know, left and right. <laughs> I said, <laughs> I said, uh, and I'll, I'll try to keep his PG, but it's like, Every time the ban list comes around, they just take rockets and they just like rip the 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 male parts out of uh, out of their ability to do anything. They're like, "Oh, you want to make chaos door? Can't do that anymore." Oh, that's right. We can still make. Yeah, I can't do that anymore. Go make another eight. I think it's like, even funnier that Savage. I think is like a part of their lore. That's like their lore boss monster. He's a boar load. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think so, he is part of their. Like, like they just still rip it out of them. Yeah, like, you out can't out play it. with this anymore. <laughs> I I want to say like I. I think rockets are still a versatile enough engine, say for Dragon Link, that I think you can still play them as yeah, like yeah. Link. I, I still like the recharger line, the right the striker recharger thing is still really cool. Um, that does a lot still. There's still things you can do with them, but three, like you also can't three. make Baron in that deck now. So like, they don't really have a way to insulate against hand traps. I mean, they have like Seal for Nibiru, but yeah. they don't have a way to insulate against like other hand traps. You yeah, know, it's when not they're trying to do their stuff. Yeah. And these have a lot more implications than I think is going to be realized at first glance. Um, that's probably where I'll leave it because I feel like I can ramble about this for a lot of implications. Yeah, yeah but... I'm going to drop. And, and by the way, I just want to say, like, Dragon Link is just one example. I wasn't using that as, like, that's the most. Oh, relevant. no, yeah, 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 no, definitely. Yeah. It just, it, that was more of a comedy thing. Of Dragon Link just keeps getting yeah. shot in the foot for no reason. Yeah. Well. <laughs> zero tap, zero top, still getting hit. <laughs> Same thing with Baron, Baron with Sword Soul. Like, it just a. Uh... It's like Ugh. side. Well, we'll go. We'll go with swords when we get to the limiteds. But like, uh, <laughs> yeah, for real. Um, but uh, no. So uh, Baron, like, Bar- like the Omni Negates, just like make I think the game more open to like everything else. Like open or closed? Like their existence. Oh, like, like it makes like other cards like better. Like all the other cards are better. If like, they're the banned, other cards right? that are better. You're saying if these are banned because the these two omni gates are banned. Yes. Like yeah, okay, it, yeah. it makes it makes other cards better. Mm-hmm. So I think the game is more open to like other cards being used. Yeah. Um, that wouldn't normally be. <clears throat> lastly, summon limit. Which That's I think fine. we can all agree. This isn't really have much of a discussion. This is kind of just like a go first BS card. Obviously, they have their eyes out for floodgates right now, which is good. I think it's a good direction for them to be going in, which is pretty obvious. But yeah, I don't, fine. I don't think there's any spicy take for some of getting banned. <laughs> really? No, it was a fair and balanced card. <laughs> so fair and balanced. With that, pretty much this is ending the fire hits essentially. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> there, there's all your fire hits right there. Um, going the limited, going back to your Sword Soul comment, Vince, we have Arch Nemesis Protos being back to limited. Uh, yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. Because I think Sword Soul is like one of the few decks can like play into a nib kind of well with uh, Chow Fang. Uh yeah, with the ten E lines, you like yeah. really have to lean into that Chow Fang uh area of like make, expertise. Yep, yeah, make the Chow Fang and then drop the Protos after, and 
Yeah, I mean, need the right attribute, but <sighs> yeah, I feel like it's just not. It like, might not like, be as good. As, as I might, yeah, it might. It might not be as good now because like it's not light dark. It's like it's hard to like get fire. Uh, like, sure. you know I mean, hit fire with in sword. Like that's like hard. Um, I I just think of like with sword soul. Like you make a bear and it stops a nib or other oh, hand yeah. traps. You make a chow thing, it stops like a nib or a veiler, and it doesn't stop like imperm or ash or like, like anything else that's going to come up afterward. <laughs> and you're going to sit there with the, this chow thing and this I don't know like a bo yi. You know, it's not it's not like it's like a quick yeah. easy put, like wine to make chow thing. Like it's usually like two cards, something like that. Is it two tenies? Is it two tenies do it? I feel like um, I think it has to be a specific. One. Isn't like yeah. light, light, light. It has to be a light. The light one definitely, and like I think any other one. The light one and any other one would probably do it. Yeah. Yeah. That's like two out of your five cards. Then you need like your other cards to work, and then they can't be like stopped by a hand trap. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. I think it's harder. No. Am I? I it, I'm just kind of like spitballing. Like I, also I, as far as as far as Nib Guru is concerned. I, I, I do have to say, like, so, like, Protoss is, is, like, the Sword Soul card right now, I think. Maybe there's, like, some other deck that can play it. That would be interesting. But, um, there, that's, like, that's their shtick. There's, like, probably a line I could probably figure out to get the Protoss. Because you can play Flag, too, right? Like, Nemesis Flag? Yeah. Yeah, with, like, search him or send him off a sprint or something. Yeah, you, like, you, can, get the, you can get the one fire guy, right? He's a pyro off of Banshee, right? If you go yeah. into Banshee, search Nemesis Flag, and then get use Nemesis Flag, get Protos. There's probably, like, a cheese line. I'm sure there's a... You know, I'm, I, I, yeah. don't even, I don't even have to think about that. I'm, there's you, definitely yeah. a cheese line. Like, if you just... I, I don't like it because you have to play, like, Protos plus Flag, but you probably have to play something like the Shu Ping Parallel Exceed special in, uh, in like, Snake Eye, <laughs> and then, like... You, there's definitely a line there, right? Where you could just go like Banshee, go into yeah. like maybe like Little Knight, banish your own Banshee, bring it back, and then like you have to banish something later. We can Little Knight banish anything, really. It's not that big of a deal. You don't have to banish the Banshee. So I don't know. There's there's probably a line. That's all I'm saying. There's probably a line to do it. Mm -hmm. And isn't Flag? And flag is fire, right? Isn't it? Uh, it's yeah, fire. it's the fire pyro. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Convenient. Let's go! Convenient. <clears throat> Uh, I I just want to say like that if it's Sword Soul that people were worried about, I don't know man like Sword Sword Soul's not beating Snake Eye boards, like it it just doesn't I don't know it, unless you guys disagree with me on that one you think Sword Soul can break into Snake Eye boards and I think now with really? one Imperm it can if they just hold the Imperm for the Apo I think it can yeah, all right. <laughs> I could be wrong. Like I don't know. Like I think it's it's I don't I don't know. I was gonna talk about the fly the the the, the Snake Eye boards at the end. To sure. kind of just like get a, like a general thing with every deck talking about it because I think it's kind of be like yeah. the main thing of discussion anyway. Um, yeah, so I guess like going forward with title on top of that. Sure. Who cares? I think right. I think we all do. We all agree. I'm who cares? A, I'm in a who cares mood. Yeah, yeah. I think I think title is like a who a who cares card. Oh, jumping back to Protoss, I I actually like hate that this is back. I don't like lingering effects like that. I'm not a fan of them. But yeah, just wanted to get that out there. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm with you on that. I agree that in general, I don't like that card. Being things you can't interact with um, piss me off and just make it unfun. Uh, speaking of things that uh, not fun, I think Thunder Dragon Colossus is also on that list of not fun things. But if they just need. It's more reasonable like, than Protos. I think Colossus is more reasonable than Protos. Someone's gonna find something that like will abuse either of these cards, maybe. I feel like you need to run more bricks to make Colossus and Protoss work. Jesse, chop, uh, chop. Come on. Get the Colossus I'm, I'm deck. A little, I'm a little confused on Konami's decision-making here. So, like, you look at Colossus and Protoss are unbanned. They're, like, very floodgate and searchable cards. Mm -hmm. But then they banned Summon Limit and limited a certain other card that we're going to talk about in a second that are floodgate cards that you can't really search. Um, and a lot of times, like, I felt like I'd be behind... You know, like the barrel when somebody had like a Baron plus a summon limit, and you're like, oh, I, how am I going to get rid of the summon limit now? I have the Cosmic, but they have Baron. You know, mm -hmm. they have Savage. That's not a thing anymore. So, like, if anything, if you're going to have it legal in any format, it would be now, right? But obviously, I understand you're going to ban summon limit, right? But then why are you bringing back Protos and Colossus? You're probably much more easily accessible than with us. I don't know. We we like we me and me and Nick earlier at least were like dabbling with some like some like like other cards of like maybe like a little bit what you can do with them. 
I, I don't. It's just me. Like Thunder cards don't seem like they aged well. I guess. No, I don't think they're they're up to like twenty twenty four level. Yeah, they they just didn't feel aged very well, in my opinion. I don't I don't know. Just, that was just my take. I think Colossus is still a really strong card. It'll be used as an and, and in my eyes, it's going to be used as an engine in some random pile that's going to probably have some com big combo, maybe White Sworn, maybe uh, I don't know dragons or something. It seems like it's always just a big pile deck with dangers again. Who knows? But whatever. I'm not. I don't like Colossus. I like searching my cards. Mm -hmm. That's just that's just my take on it. But it's a lot easier to deal with now. I think too with like stuff like Droplet existing. Uh, Typhon. Yeah, it's like oh, I think it's Typhon. To be know. honest, I, I wouldn't want to have to Typhon. It's yeah, you you end your turn anyway, right? <laughs> yeah, feels good. Um, but yeah, there's still it's like better than nothing, right? Like like have some kind of options. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I guess moving on from Colossus, uh, Unicorn, Magispector. It's fine. That's another card that's okay. It's, it's fine. cool. It's cool. cool. That's, that's uh, I don't know if it's going to like catapult Magispector up or anything like that. Not, not, not as oppressive as uh, <laughs> the other two, but... It, as, it, 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 so you, you guys didn't play Magispector, right? Like, I don't think any of you guys, like, you, neither of you guys played it, right? I vaguely like, remember like, it, but like new Magispector or like back in the day when new, 2016 new. Magispector? No, no, new, new now. Like oh. now Magispector with the new support. No, I watched you a little bit though. What, what what do you got? It's it's so like the reason I played Fenrir was because I needed something to like have board presence and like consistently clear things. Because you don't you know, you can't just use every spell and trap you have on every monster they summon is just too much. Um so having the option for something like Kieran really boosts up that like that deck in that regard. But the, the bounce away their shit. What does it do? It bounces one of your pendulums and yeah. one of their monsters. Yes, one pendulum you control, one monster your opponent controls. Um, the problem is, is a level six. <laughs> That's what sucks. Yeah. And Magic Specter scales only go to five. <laughs> it's the wackiest decision making I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, so like you can't pendulum it back out. Um, you can get it off the spell and you can get it off the exceed. Those are like the two main ones. Um, the other thing you can do is play a Magic Specter package in like an other Pendulum deck again to get Kieran as an interruption. Yeah, which I think is, I was thinking about that too. Which is yeah. fine. I think it's like reasonable, especially with the other hit that's coming up. I think that makes that and that like uh, whole deck more reliable now. So I think that's reasonable. I think that that could be a direction that we can go now again. Finally, after a long time. <laughs> I mean, how many more pendulum cards need to get unbanned before people can finally say? Yeah, one Electromite. That they're just power creeps. <laughs> yeah, I guess Electromite has to be the one. He's, he's like, I think he's the one. Like once he's back, it's all yeah. it's all good in the hood. Um, yeah. So over, but over, overarchingly, I'm happy Karen's back. I'm they deserve to be back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fine. Twitter. Uh, chicken game. Chick on. Was it did the chain go from three to one to ban or go from three to ban? I believe it went the three to ban. I don't remember. I don't remember. It, whatever, it's back. Well, it's at one. I just checked, and I own one. Wow! <laughs> wow! Crazy. <laughs> um, game is, it's, 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 it, I mean, at one, Alphans don't do too much. It, 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 just another upstar, right? We have three upstar. It didn't do anything. Now we have chicken game. So, I talked about this. Um, at the card shop today, I said the the problem with those cards back in the day was if you had a critical mass of them, you could, you know, do some like crazy turn one thing, right? Mm -hmm. We have three upstarts, one chicken game. We have like other stuff, but like, you know, you know, voids at one, card demise at one. To be honest, though, even if they're all at a higher number, I'm not sure that those kind of FTK decks would be played that way. Because like all you really need a lot of times to beat those decks where they like they go like all in on something is like a single hand trap to yeah. interact with it. So like you can have all the draws you want, but there's no way like I don't know in modern Yu-Gi-Oh I don't see those decks functioning quite like that. Like there was the guy at the YCS like this past year who played the Pendulum FTK deck, and it wasn't like a draw a million cards deck. It was a like oh here's a clear line. The victory off of this card. You know? oh, was, it the, was it the Exodia? The Jeff Leonard Exodia? Yes. Deck? yes <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. So, like, I think that's how you're going to do an FTK deck nowadays. I don't think it's going to be through like a, a pile of chicken games and upstarts. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, I, under, I understand. No. I get. I get what you're saying. I think. I, mm. I. My problem is. I think this is going to be a thing where this deck isn't popular, so it's played, and then it does well, then it does well, and then draw a lockbird's played, and then the deck gets destroyed, and then it doesn't get played anymore, and then you have this. Then draw is not played anymore, and then you just have this weird loop of decks like this existing if they get too strong but and draw a lockbird coming if in. Maybe if and nothing out. else is prompting draw. I yes. think there's other stuff. Right, right now, draw. I think Fire King will prompt draw. Because Fire King is specifically bad against Droll, not just pure Snake Eye. So I think that can is decent, at least. Um, so it's like fine, I suppose. I don't know. Like I, I, these like one for one cards. Like they're they're not a it's it's not a problem till it is, I guess. Uh, I think it like there's it has a bit more use than say. Well, I don't know. Actually, this is true, but. It feels like it has a bit more use than like a an upstart in the sense that it's a field spell. Uh, you were mentioning earlier that you can like send it off of other stuff. Yes, I was enjoying it with Sky Striker. That was my uh, my go to immediately. Yeah, and, it, and it's like it's searchable. Now, like people are like, you're gonna search chicken game? Like, uh, probably not, maybe not, but like you can pop it maybe with an ancient fairy and search a different field spell. I think its existence you know, makes it warranted kind of... to play stuff stuff like set rotation for more consistency in other decks. Like, oh, you, yeah. play, you play a Kashtira deck. All right, I'll play set rotation now with one chicken game. And it's like, if I draw a chicken game, cool. If I draw set rotation, it's like, okay, this is another planet. And then they just have a chicken game. And it's like, who cares? Like, I get my yeah. card that I want. So it's like... Like, ch chicken game's a reasonable include in any field spell deck. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, anti-spell is at one for some reason. Not banned. Saki, one of... I mean, they're slowly chipping away at the floodgates, right? Like, there's not a lot left, I don't think, that are like... Oh, oh. oh Tell I'll that, that to Runic Stun. I say that now, but... <laughs> Tell that to Runic Stun. Thank God that deck didn't get hit. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, yeah, Jared, <laughs> but... <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Like, a, a, any number less than three, I think, is fine. It should have just been banned. Like, like, I don't know. At this point, it just feels like that they should just ban Goes in Rivalry, Tikaboo... Uh, the anti spell. Like, well, I don't even know why they're at one. Just, just get them out of here. I'm, I, I'm trying to figure out what, like, what makes summon limit so much worse than any of those three. Uh, the ruling to dis to describe to somebody why it still counts when it's set. <laughs> it's for the judges. <laughs> <laughs> That's the real reason. But I don't think there's any complaints here for this going to one, right? Like, no one's like, ah, oh, darn it. Uh, yeah. No. yeah, I don't know. Bye. All right, bye bye. Semi limited. Ooh, Armageddon night. Whoa! Ooh, without a zold, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> Come on, you can send Orcus, Harpor, uh, Har yay! <laughs> you can do that a million ways anyway. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's gonna it's, do anything. That's cool. It's fine. I, I, I don't think it's gonna be crazy. I, I'm okay with having more of those. I, I like having options in a game right. like this to yeah. like experiment with. But we're yeah, we're, we're, we're kind of getting back more generic stuff of like the older cards, which is nice. So you know. Uh, this is this like reminiscent? Now you guys tell me because you were more conscious of the game back then. But is this reminiscent of something like mid synchro era? They're like breakers back to three. People are like, whoa, breaker. Uh, it doesn't matter. Something like that. Yeah, like like when Sacred Phoenix went from like one to three, I was like, holy shit, Sacred Phoenix is back to three. But it didn't, it didn't, it didn't do anything. It never never mattered anyway. Or like Morning Captain like went from like one to one to three. You know, like oh, right, and it didn't do anything. I mean, like, it happens time over and time over again where they bring stuff back. Yeah. Usually, it's fine. Yeah. It's very rare where it's not fine. Like snap, the first Nash deal comeback was like a, all right, maybe that was too early. Like oh, <laughs> <laughs> right, you're right, and they did it again, and nobody plays it now. Yeah, now Nash deal sucks. Right? It's just like it kind of depends where the game's going and the direction of the format. Um, yeah, I don't know. This seems fine. Like, it's whatever. At least as of now, until someone breaks it. Jesse, again, is just going to play some Thunder deck with these cards. It's going to be two Armageddon Knight, three Battery Man Solar for the five normal summons, sending Thunder Dragon cards and comboing off. <laughs> I'll say it right now. That'll be my call. <laughs> um, we'll go to Pearly Delicious Memory, going to two. I guess that's... Uh, like I don't know how the how the pearly strategy has really changed. I know it increased the odds of seeing it off oh, my my friend, but uh, it it just makes the odds a little bit better. Like to see yeah, it just, uh, if I if I remember right, there's two wines in pearly. One wine involves delicious. One wine involves sleepy. So now it now if you like draw one, 
you use hat, uh, the, my friend Pearly, you can still get the, uh, still try to get the other one at least, while still getting a good one, right? If you have, like, if you're like open sleepy and you go for my friend, you have like getting there sleepy is like fine because you're gonna draw extra cards off of it. But if you get delicious, you can then go into plump and still be fine. But well, sleepy's at one, right? Right now, sleepy is at two. two. Oh, it's at two. It was okay. delicious one, two sleepy, I believe. Okay, yeah. So you can open one and then get to the another, other one. Yeah, another one of them. Yes. potentially. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It also just helps consistency in general, which is more <laughs> quick play spells, which I think is helpful to that deck. Even though the deck's a little it's toxic, a, it's, but... a, it's a good deck. It is. A, yeah, it is a little toxic with their boss. Um, I'm. I'm like. I'm like somewhat worried about it, but I don't think that moving it from one to two will matter that much. Because Snake Eye is still in the format, you know? Yeah. Um, it's just the kind of thing that, like, maybe next ban list, where they do hit Snake Eye, and they forget it that they put, you know, Delicious to two. I mean, it's the thing, right? Like, it comes yeah. back around to, like, oh, what needs to get, like, addressed after Snake Eye? You know what I mean? Yeah, because there's, like, a bunch of decks that are really good that just can't quite get over the hump of Snake Eye. Now, maybe that's different with, like, pure not ha I don't know, though. Like, I mean, Fire King Snake Eye is already kind of the best option. Yeah. I think it makes it more clearly the best option. But yeah, after after that gets hit, there's still a bunch of decks that... I, I think it's so yeah. funny how the format is actually so amazingly balanced pre-Snake Eye. Like, pre that popular princess together. It was, like, yeah. so fine. And then it was just, like, those came out and just butchered everything. All at once. Remember when Rescue Ace was good? Good times. Yeah, what happened to that, huh? The parents still <laughs> I, working with I that. I just fell off a cliff. <laughs> it's, it's been baffling to me. On my, like, can you guys explain that one to me? Maybe I'm just an idiot. No. Why did that fall off no. so hard? No. Nope. If you're playing Maybe Rescue, it, it's 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 pretty honestly, it's pretty much like if you're playing that Fire deck, why aren't you just playing the Snake Eye deck or there. the F Fire King Snake Eye deck? There's not That's really a reason it. to. Like, but like, I don't even see it at all. You know, like. Like, why isn't it the third best? I guess it's like by by the time you get to the third best one, it's like just play the best two. Yeah. Like, nobody's okay. I guess so. Like... Um. Okay. Semi limited. Uh. Or I'm sorry, unlimited. My bad. Um. Mally. That's the biggest one there, I think. Yeah, Mally's the. That, that... Uh, they always bounce back for between. There's two, two that are big here, in my opinion. There's two big ones. I I I don't think the other one should go unnoticed. But we'll, we'll right, talk I'll, about Mally for now. All right, I'll, all right we'll, we'll pretend engaged is, uh, is, uh, is a big <laughs> deal. <laughs> That's correct. I will remote duel you I, right now and whoop you I, with Sky Striker. Uh, let me, let me you know, bring the piece here. I think they're all pretty cool cards to go to three. So, <laughs> like That's cool. You know? Yes, I agree. I think they're all cool I, to be at three. My defense of Mally being the most relevant, though, is that the other ones, you know, the other ones at three are just like you see them more often. This at three is like... Uh, you don't even want to see this guy that often, to be honest. But him at three means he's a better card. Like yes, like those cards being at three, like having a third terror top doesn't make terror top a better card. If that mm -hmm. makes any sense. Yes. So yeah, yeah. It, it it just says another it, it it's another body. It's another free body. It's another free extender. Which is a lot, especially with the power of level sixes right now. Especially with things like Beatrice still legal, transaction rollback still legal. Um, you know, all those things are still existing. Tier old man is going to have a field day with it. There might be things you like. There's definitely gonna be things you can do now that you could not do before. Uh, yeah, you know? I think so. With a full extra body, hero can probably do some to do more in itself. I mean, I don't know hero combos that well, but I'm sure there's Deny something in there. Denier becomes like it's another. At the, at some, yeah, it's four bodies for like <laughs> nothing. It's literally yeah. all the graveyard. It's free. It's free. Yeah. It's free. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, man. I could. Am I gonna lie? I can totally see us going back down to two again later. <laughs> again, I don't yeah. know when. I don't know when, but this, this card has moved up from two to three to two to three so many times. It's ridiculous at this point how much this has been moved. And every time it goes to three, it's never like a fair. Like it's never like healthy. It's yeah. one of those cards that like should stay at two forever, and it shouldn't ever move off at two because of how it works. I mean, I was showing I was showing Nick a line earlier, which was that was kind of cool. Uh, I don't mind saying it because I think it's like, kind of interesting. Just like just uh, kind of like point out how kind of gross malicious is. 
of like you go like Vion, Vion's and uh, Shadow Mist, Shadow Mist, search Malicious, and then use Vion's second effect to get Polly, banishing the Shadow Mist. Use Polly, fuse the Shadow Mist and the Malicious to go into um you can go into Garua, or you can link off the Vion and go into Almirage, and then Polly and go into Magnum the Reliever. Uh, get a draw off the Magnum, or you can use the Malian Graveyard to then overlay the Garua and the Malicious for Beatrice. And then you can use Beatrice, Detach Mally, Dump Denier, and then get back the Mally and the Denier, get an extra Mally again. Um, yeah, and then, I don't know, just like a bunch of bodies. Yeah, like, like, like two more Mallys there, right? Yeah, you and have a Beatrice Mally, sitting there. Denier, yeah. You have another, like... Uh, you could probably make like a sprint. I don't know, it's like so much. Yeah, you, th yeah, that's just like a area you get to, and you're like, okay, that's a lot now. Without being locked, by the way, in hero locking, right? Like, so you can like, you can also like hero live Stratos, Stratos get by on normal by on, do the same line, but I have extra Stratos in the field. Like, that's dumb to me. Like, that's a lot that you're doing off of that one. Yeah, thing. that's very cool. That's very cool. Like he heroes, heroes limiting factor, for example, is is the fact that they're locked into heroes very often. Yeah, you just have to like, kind of avoid those cards if you can, and kind of know which ones they are. You know, Forest is the one that does it. Uh, the Fusion Spell for Destiny Hero does it. Um, those are the two main. It's kind of hard for like a pure hero deck to, to avoid them, though. You know, um, and now though, maybe it's more possible. I don't. Yeah, you know. I mean, Destiny Duel dot three. Orcus Harpoor is at three again, along with Terrata. I'm blending these two together. I think the Harpoor matters the least, but. Because like you can access hard horror like a number of ways when it's at one. Yeah, it, three, like... I just see it as danger pile, right? Like just like Orcus danger pile again. Kind of see we're going back to that route of play. Yeah, but it makes it, makes it more uh, available. Yeah, so, like, I oh, think Terra Top is a, a very powerful card. Yes, I, 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 I do agree. I think Terra Top is very good. Um, Goblin players rejoice. They <laughs> get a another one card full starter, which is very good. Without normal. Without normal, yes. is like. very big for their deck. So a lot of people don't take Goblin seriously, but I am telling you that deck does a lot. And it is scary when it resolves. So, you know, take that as you will. But it's a very cool card. I like Terra Top a lot. Maybe I'll make Dante again. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, and then There's Engage. Nothing else. Which you guys... <laughs> I hate you guys so much, dude. <laughs> dude why are you hating on engage at three sure it's no, fine it's no. fine at three it's not yeah, it's, it's fine okay it's, it's fine fine it's fine <laughs> it's fine jared's challenging you i am challenging you i'm 100 challenging you i think engage is very good i think it's really good i I'm think it's saying, gonna be i never said it was bad it's I never gonna said be like, you know what it's gonna be too much when it's not played in sky striker again that's when it's gonna be too much and you're gonna be people complaining about it Ooh, like Runic, Runic Striker. Some some deck where you are, yeah, I mean, like, yeah, right, right, right. When Runic's an example. You could just play Striker and, and Runic and easily get the three spells in Graveyard, no problem, and just annihilate your opponent with the amount of advantage you can probably get with yeah. you know with these things. It's stupid. I I don't I don't know. I don't think that's well, something that should be. Uh... We'll see, yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, we'll just... yeah, you're right. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Uh, so I said this initially. I didn't say this to you yet, Jared, but uh, you, you can come over to my house and try to fight me. And I said, uh, <laughs> I was like, I was like, listen, the biggest move on engage is when it went from band to one. When it went, from, then went from one to two, and then the least one that matters is going from two to three. It went from one to two that mattered more. You know, I feel like it going from two to three. It's like, all right, is that two already? It's, like it's, it's like it was there two already. Nobody was playing. It's like does the does the third copy really matter that much? Is it the critical I, mass question? I, like it's like I don't know yeah, like, if it's now. a thing now that'll be good. I think it'll be a problem eventually. It's fair. just not now. That's fair. I think it'll be cool when it is a problem eventually. <laughs> I think it'll be cool. It'll be cool. Yeah. Yeah, we're right, Joel, Lock, Joel, Joel Lock will keep that shit on control. Can, yeah. can I can I just make one comment about Mally? I realized after we moved away from him. Yeah. This is something I like make a point to say to people that like the game is a really old game, Yu-Gi-Oh. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, like you have twenty something years of cards. Yeah. But for the most part, the good cards are the cards that have come out in the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. Mally is like the exception in terms of like power level. You're like, wow, this card's really good. It came out in what, two thousand seven, two thousand eight? Yeah. Like it's it's still up there with the big boys, you know. Like you <laughs> yeah. still want to mill it as much as you're milling a Gito. You're like, ooh, being, a Mally. You're like being abused. 
Yeah. <laughs> like, he, he's hanging around, you know? Like, there's not many other cards you can say that about, like Didi Crow, Psalm Judgment. But, like, yeah, most like of a, that a old Lord stuff Darkness. has gone by the wayside. Even like, even Destiny Draw is, like, wayside. Destiny Draw is, like, irrelevant. Yeah, like, Bottomless yeah. Trap Hole, D-Prison. Like, all the old stuff that was a Torrential Tribute, for the most part, is irrelevant. Like, card like Mally is still good. Still Wait, good. what do you mean? There's a card on this list that's from that era. Oh, is there another one? Yes, yeah, right here. It's banned. <laughs> ah, you're right. It's like light yeah. of destruction or something. Yeah, right? light yeah. of destruction. Hey, wait a second. How could they ban that? They're it's reprinting. Reprinted. It. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do this, Dust. Now I'm not buying the set. You. What about this one? What about this one, Nick? Come on. What, uh, what other one? Anti spell. Oh, anti spell. You're right. That's a really old one. There's a video That's game true. back in the day. Armageddon Knight. He's still true. hanging around, kind of. <laughs> Armageddon Knight's about the same time as Melly. Yeah, but he's not like. He's a card that's like not that relevant. Those He's are two. Like, I, I I agree with you. I don't yeah. even remember the last time Armageddon Knight was played in anything other than like Orcus, which was like cool for a month or two, six years ago or something. Like five well, years after ago? Harpoor originally came off, people played it and had like some regional success, but like that was it. And never really went anywhere past that. Yeah, I don't know. Well, Gage is good, so I'm saying. But anyway, um, <laughs> so now that we've gone through it all, I'm actually curious. Uh, how do you think this affects Raleigh with the fire format um, and kind of like what's going to be, you know, used, played, maybe like your guys' theory about tech choices, like first glance stuff, thinking about well, it. Can we, can, we talk, can we talk about what wasn't on the list? Yeah, yeah, that's fine too. That, that's not on the list. There are cards like Calamity, like Alp <laughs> Sanctifier, oh. like like all the the D Gen cards are still not Shifter. on here. Shifter isn't on here. Featherstorm, like all those no. are just not. How about on there. Flu? Can we finally touch Flu? Anybody? I'm like a I'm like drowned in like the in the water. <laughs> Nobody cares about that. Nick's just tired. Shifter, of maybe. I'm just so I, tired of like. Uh, I think Flu is one of those decks that loses to itself. And it's like frustrating when they 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 could have they, just like hit prosperity and then touched flu, you know? They could have oh, been yeah, like prosperity to one, prosperity. like all right, that's it, boys. You know? I don't know. Like, when I play against flu, it's like flu is such a different deck when there's no shifter. Like, you ever you ever play against flu and, you're, and, they, and you don't get shiftered? It just feels so much easier. It, you're like you're this like, is like fine. wow, this is like I'm I'm fighting like a five year old kid or something. So like, like, <laughs> <laughs> you're like no, it's like it's like a fair deck. Like you're not like. Getting like, oh my gosh, it's so hard like, now. Like he's swinging there. a foam sword at you, and he's five years old, and you just like stop it with your hand, and you just whack him with the foam sword. Feels you know, like it's not it feels, something that I do. But you're like about to have a sword fight. You're you have like an iron sword. He has like a wooden sword. But then, like at his draw phase, he uses shifter, which casts a spell on your sword, and now you have a styrofoam sword. And you're like, wait a minute, <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> And then in that one turn where it's a styrofoam sword, he absolutely molly whops you with a wooden sword. <laughs> Beat your skull with a wooden sword. And then you're sitting there like, wait, I spent five hundred dollars on this, this iron sword. Yeah, what happened? They only need to hit shifter. <laughs> they happened? only really need to hit shifter. Shifter, uh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, that was all I want to say. It was like there's a lot of other degen cards that like are still around that just like are free, free roaming. I mean, fire in general too, right? Like fire in general should also yeah, probably, probably well, just be addressed so, more directly. Yeah, so fire, fire. Well, I think the the pure snake guy isn't as strong anymore. Yeah, like, they been, might want to see where I, this goes. Uh, I, think I haven't it, like putzed yeah. around with it because I mean, my local table is they just released the list today, so like we played with the old list. But mm -hmm. the like, I don't like me playing with it. I was like, dang, dang, I'm going to link Rebo a lot. I'm like, I can't do this anymore. Like, I can't like that <laughs> link Rebo, and yeah. I was like. Like, like that was kind of big, like cards that like you don't think you use a lot, but you still use a lot. Mm -hmm. Like it's been so normal. It's been so normal. Yeah. You're just like, no, oh, I don't even realize. Mm -hmm. How about a uh, voiceless? We didn't talk about voiceless. Do you think that it's just like a good deck? It's fine. That, that's fine. That deck's fine. It loses every board breaker. No, no. Man somebody, was, somebody was saying voiceless players were upset. I forget why. I can understand the reason. Because of Colossus? No, I guess because Colossus. What they can think of. Henry was telling me, Henry, if you're listening, you said it, all right? Uh, he said that uh, he didn't like anti-spell to one because he felt like that was a necessary card to stop other players. 
Um, oh. He's like, he's like, I just get wrecked by board breakers. That's what he said, actually, with his voiceless deck. You have to find new um, ways. Like, you can't I'm just. Like, I don't, I'm, I don't know, man. You're playing. I... A, you have an Omni. You so... have an in-engine Omni in the game. All right, hot take. You want to hear my hot take? I think Konami is slowly rewarding good play. I think they are pushing good play. Slowly, slowly but surely. Because right. you can't like. Hurt, hurt, derp, set, summon, limit, I go first, go, and then your opponent's locked out and you win. You can't go, okay, I made it to the point of my combo, I make Baron, okay, I, I have the YouTube t combo tutorial memorized, I can I can Calamity lock my opponent now. That's fine. Ironically coming from me, who's playing Centurion, but that's besides yeah. the point. <laughs> We're going to do it anyway. We're going to do it. We're still going to do it. But, yeah, but I, I think it's this is like a good direction because you can't, like, even Snake Eye end boards, right? Those are very complex end boards that they're ending on now that are very susceptible to everything. Like, I'm not making the gates equal to my opponent's hand size. I have to interact with everything. You have to flush out, you know, and, like, figure out what is the most valuable thing to interrupt. Yeah, I, I think the only thing that's, like, truly degenerate on here is the Protos that's, that's going to be sticking around. That's like, you know, that's only when you play Sword Soul, specifically. And if you don't hand trap them or stop them. Um, like, a lot has to go right for Sword Soul, I think, to still get it. But it's still, uh, I, I still don't like that card being here. It still shouldn't be here. It's weird to me that that, that and Colossus are back, and they're like, yeah, anti-spell and summon limit are problems. Like, yeah, I, I still think Colossus is fine. I mean, it's fine, it's just, it's just a Protoss one, specifically. But again, I, I think that that's my, like, take, is that I think that they are slowly promoting better play. It's what it feels like from a competitive standpoint of like these interactions like this and these small things. Because like think about it, right? Like Pure Snake Eye was really good. Talents never played again because of Baron and Savage essentially. They just didn't play those cards. Thrust was never played again. Like all of this like anti board breakers, evenly matched, just were not played because of these Omni in the gates that exist. And without them here, you have to really figure out ways to like not lose essentially or get outplayed or make good reads and stuff like that or not get calamity locked i agree with you <laughs> just don't get calamity locked that's all so, uh i just just be better i don't know <laughs> that's, uh, I, listen, I, I i'm telling you i i feel i feel uh like i just walked through a bunch of razor blades people are trying to get calamity locked and i'm like just walking through like it ain't nothing you know <laughs> Come out unscathed. I don't think so. Brandon players probably feel the same. Yeah. Yeah, Brandon. Oh my god, I don't know how that deck skipped this. That oh Brandon god. dodges everything just like yeah. blue. They it's never like, touch those decks. It's it's like absolutely crazy to me. I don't know how that they skipped this type of list, but they did. Is there anything else that you uh gentlemen would like to add here? Do you think that uh, other decks can compete better now going into Raleigh? Uh I you think the fire is still going to be. You, you guys are both attending Raleigh, right? I believe. I'm not. Oh, you're not. Okay. Well, Vince is attending Raleigh. Uh, I think that fire is still going to be um, the deck to beat. I think that it gets a little bit worse here. Um, yeah, I, I still think I still think it's like clearly the deck to beat. I'm not. I'm not certain that it's like quite as tier zero as it used to be. I don't know who who knows what the the numbers is going to show, but. I think it's still going to be... I think it's still going to win. Let's say that. Yeah. It's still going to win the event. Okay. Yeah, I can yeah. see that. Uh, how do you feel about Raleigh now with this list out? About, like, do you think it's going to be fire the deck to beat? Do you think it's going to be win the event? Do you think that tech choices are going to change? You see, I think you'll see a lot of interesting things happening. Like, tech choices, decks in general. I feel like a lot of people are moved to the fire. Fire King Snake Eye, just because it has nib protection with Arvada. Um, it can still play. It loses the draw harder, but it, it has uh, like has a lot more ways to interrupt, like the play into, like a lot more grave effects than mm -hmm. Pure Snake Eye. So, I don't know. I don't know. I'll still like to play Centurion if I can. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm still trying to get the cards I need. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're the only one here attending Raleigh, so 
good luck to you in your journey <laughs> trying to figure out this format. If I, 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 I don't know. Well, I'll, I'll talk to you after the video is up. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Well, I think that's going to pretty much wrap it up anyway, right? Yeah, I got nothing yeah. else to say. Okay, perfect. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed our little discussion, podcast, talking, whatever it may be. So thank you guys for watching or listening. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.